What's up everyone, this is Cybernight8610, and today we have the next random pack opening, our second one for this series, so yeah, let's go on ahead and uh, start choosing some different packs, I have my eyes closed, so let's see what we get, last time we kind of chose them in twos, I think only got one on that one, let's see, three, now I'm going to really mess myself up on this, I think I got two, so that should be five, if I'm stacking these up right, I need to have a bigger table for this. <laughs> Uh, we'll go. I don't know if that's two or three. I don't know. I'll check here in a second. I know I don't have face cam, so you guys can't tell, but I do have my eyes closed for these, so let's see if I uh, counted correctly. Alright, so yeah, we were able to choose ten out of that, so save these for the next round of pack openings, and uh, let's see which packs we got on this one. Ancient Prophecy, Crossroads, Tactical Evolution, uh, Cosmo Blazer, more Ancient Prophecy, Raging Battle, Crimson Crisis, and even a Phantom Darkness at the end. So, yeah, let's go ahead and open up all these packs and see what we get. Like I said in the previous video, hopefully we'll get a Cyanar Dragon. I mean, with all these Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds packs, I mean, our odds should be pretty good on that. We have a Dark Sea Rescue. I was about to say, that's kind of funny to have those together, so... <laughs> kind of a creepy card, too. I guess it's supposed to be like a dead guy in a life raft, so... It's kind of sad, really, when you think about it. Crossroads of Chaos. Did really good on the first round pack opening, too, so I'm hoping I didn't use up all my good luck on the first pack opening. And we have a Psychic Trigger! Super rare, so there we go, at least we were able to get a super rare, so, you know, on our second pack, so that's pretty good. And then Tiger Dragon, I always thought this card was really cool looking, too, so, a Tiger and a Dragon mix, there you go. And Mortronic Self on. So good, we got a hollow, I feel a little bit better now. Tactical Evolution. When I get all these packs for random pack openings, I'm always scared to death that it's, like, going to be all rares. Because <laughs> that can actually happen. We have a Neo Space uh, Pathfinder. Oh, Jama Knight. That's pretty cool. Cosmo Blazer. If I can pick it up. There we go. And also, for people that are wondering, hopefully, it didn't really like, ruin the illusion or something. I do record all these at once, all these ramp pack openings, in case people are wondering. I, I can't just let the packs just sit there, so. Because <laughs> people always ask me that. We have Noble Knight Joan. Rare. Another Ancient Prophecy. Come on, Ancient Fairy Dragon. If you open up Ancient Prophecy packs, I think that'd be pretty cool to get one. And, uh, whoa, this, that is awesome. Uh, first edition, Ultimate Rare, uh, Blackwing Volume, the uh, Emblem of Honor. I couldn't read his name for a second. There we go. Now that is awesome. I think this was the most expensive card in this set, so that is really cool. Even nowadays, I mean, getting Ultimate Rare at first edition, that's pretty amazing. And uh, Quakimura Tornado, that was one of my favorite rare cards from this set as well. <laughs> that is just wow. <laughs> uh, Ancient Prophecy. Who needs uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, right? You got value. <laughs> Everything's good now. Rekindling, by the way, that's good. We have uh, Gap the Divine Soldier. Raging Battle. Come on, Power Tool Dragon. Or a cool uh, Quakimura card. I think there's a couple of Super Quakimuras in this. And we have an upside down card, and it is a Quakimuru. It is a Quakimuru uh, Power Hand. Super rare, so I kind of called it. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. I remember testing out a lot of these when they first came out. I really like the Quakimurus. I think the idea of them was uh, just really cool, and I'd like to see more of them in the future. I know I say that with every archetype, but seriously, I mean, this had a lot of potential to them. And Moja for our rare. Kalut. Crimson Crisis. Come on, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. Alien Ammonite for our rare. That's pretty good. Dupe Frog. Oh boy, that just reminds me. The frogs. <laughs> Treat Toad. We're getting closer to that, right? Uh, Ancient Prophecy. Oh boy. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that they're going to do well, yet I'm also terrified. 
and another Volu. Holy crap, that is awesome. Uh, Ultra Rare, Blackwing Volu, the Emblem of Honor. So another first edition one. This one's Ultra Rare, so we got both rarities. <laughs> that is so cool. And a Magic Cat for our uh, Rare. That is just awesome. Like I said, back then, that would just be... I think that was the best card from the set. You guys will have to remind me in the comments. I'll have to look through the uh, Ancient Prophecy as well. Let's see. Phantom Darkness. Remember when Black Wings were just doing amazing back then and how everyone was going after all the different cards for them. And we have uh, Elmo Hero Storm Neos. I thought it was a hollow because I was thinking, are there any comments or anything on a, on a fusion monster? So I didn't know if it was something else trying to troll me. But there we go. We got Elmo Hero Storm Neos and then a Dark Eyes Illusionist for our rare. Oh, what's the last card there? So we're able to get an element here, one of the Neos fusions. So of course, I hope you guys are enjoying this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. As you guys saw at the beginning of this video, we still have plenty of packs to go through, so I hope you guys are looking forward to those, and uh, wish me good luck with them, because I'm looking forward to seeing what else I can get. Maybe we can even get a few more volumes. Get a play set. I guess we just need one more for that, right? <laughs> that, that'd be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying these openings. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, as well as anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's an English or Japanese item openings on. So of course, by subscribing, you are able to uh, stay updated and seeing all the new stuff that's coming out for Yu-Gi-Oh! As well as, you know, we always go back and do some older pack openings too, like today. Again, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. As well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays. And also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.